What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient automatic Minecraft Bedrock Golden XP farm. This works on 1.16 on all other versions of Minecraft Bedrock, whether you're on a phone, tablet, Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch, or PC. If you guys had an issue with getting a lot of gold stores with my previous gold farm, then I recommend you make this one because this farm solves that issue. As you guys can see here, this farm will give you a bunch of gold nuggets, a bunch of gold ingots, and a bunch of rotten flesh. By the way, you guys can trade Ron Fletcher with villagers to get emeralds. This farm will also give you a ton of XP. For this farm, all you'll need is two lava buckets, two water buckets, a stack and 24 obsidian. By the way, one easy way you guys can get obsidian is by mining down end pillars. 10 hoppers, one minecart with hopper, one rail, about half a stack of ladders, four pistons, one sticky piston, 12 observers, five trap doors, 11 redstone, three levers, 12 redstone torches, one trident. By the way, you guys can use a trident with any level of durability because the trident will never break in this farm. Two dispensers, two slabs, two glass blocks, six chests, three redstone comparators, four redstone repeaters, about six stacks of solid blocks. You guys can use any solid blocks that you want, one rotten flesh, one gold nugget, and finally one gold ingot. The first step is to take some solid blocks. You guys can use any solid blocks you want. Then build up seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now extend out 22 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once you guys have done that, then place 23 obsidian. Then build up by 22 obsidian. One, two, three, four, five. After building up 22 obsidian, then build this way 22 obsidian. One, two, three. Finally, just connect these two sides. After you guys are done placing all the obsidian, you should have a 23 by 23 block nether portal. The next step is to find which side zombie piglins will spawn through this portal on. To do this, come to one corner, then place down two solid blocks. Now come over here and place down an observer. Make sure that I have the observer facing this way, then place down a dispenser. Now place a water bucket inside the dispenser. Then place some blocks just like this. That will catch the water. Now come over here and place an observer facing this way. That should cause the water to start toggling on and off just like that. Once you guys have created this little water system, then take some flint steel and try to light the portal. You need to do this as many times as you can. It may be a little tricky at first, but eventually you should be able to light it and find out which side zombie piglins will spawn on. As you guys can see there, Zombie Piglins spawn on this side of the portal for me. That means I will need to make my water transport system on this side of the portal. After finding the side Zombie Piglins spawn on, you can break this little system. The next step is to come down here and place a layer of solid blocks. Now go to the side of your portal where Zombie Piglins spawned on and place 8 blocks over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then place a block over here and extend out 7 blocks over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now place a block over here and extend out 8 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. After you guys are done creating this little pathway, place 3 solid blocks over here and, and 4 over here. Now extend a row of solid blocks all the way across like this. Now come over here and place down 8 solid blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now place 8 blocks over here as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. After you guys are done doing that, then create a 3 block high solid block wall over here. Once you guys are done creating that front wall, come over here. Then come to this block and build up 9 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then build up 9 blocks over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 9 blocks over here as well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. After doing that, place 3 blocks in this spot. The next step is to take a water bucket, then come over here and place it down. This water should flow all the way across just like this. It should end up stopping right before entering that hole. At this point, your farm should be looking something like this. The next step is to come behind. Then come to this corner where your water source block is. Now place three solid blocks over here. Then turn this way and place down an observer. Make sure the eye of the observer is facing this way. Now place down a dispenser. Make sure the dispenser is facing this way. Then open the dispenser and place your water bucket inside of it. Once you have done that, come over here. 
then place down a solid block, then place a sticky piston facing this way. Now place an observer over here. Make sure the eye is facing this way. This should cause your water to start toggling on and off just like that. The next step is to place a solid block over here and over here. Now extend down six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then break this block, this block, and this block. Now place a lever over here, and then place a redstone torch on top of this block. Redstone torch over here, redstone torch over here. And finally, one more redstone torch over here. After you place those redstone torches, place a piece of redstone right at this spot. Now flip this lever down. When you guys flip that lever down, it should shut the water system off. This will be the portal breaking system of this farm. Whenever the portal is broken, it will have a chance to spawn zombie piglins. The next step is to come over to this side of the portal. Now, count up three blocks from the bottom. One, two, three. Then place one block over here. And six more this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then come back over here and place down an observer with the top arrow facing this way. Now come behind and place five more observers facing this way. One, two, three, four, five. The top arrows with these five observers should be facing this direction. The next step is to place two solid blocks over here and six over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now place three over here, three more on top. Then place six over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and place another layer on top. Now place two solid blocks over here and two more on top. Now connect these two sides up here. The next step is to take some trap doors. Then come down here and place down five trap doors. One, two, three, four, five. Now open them all. Once you have done this, take a lava bucket and place it right in the middle. This lava and the observer system will cause your portal to stay lit when the farm is turned on. If this portal does not get lit for you, then make sure your fire spread is turned on. Also, check your water dispenser system. If it has water dispensed right now, the portal will not become lit. However, that's okay because when the farm is turned on, the water will retract back and forth, which will allow the portal to become lit. The next step is to come over here then come down. Now face the direction of your nether portal. Then dig down 18 blocks. One, two, three, four. After you guys are finished digging down, then dig one block this way, turn, dig two blocks this way, turn, dig four blocks this way, then turn one last time and dig two blocks this way. You are now going to want to break all blocks within this little outline. This little room will be where we're going to make our trident killer. The next step is to come over here, align yourself underneath this little chamber. Now place a piston over here, turn, place one over here, one over here, and one over here. Now, take some redstone torches, place one over here, then place an observer with the top arrow facing this next piston, then place a redstone torch over here, and an observer facing this next piston, then a redstone torch over here, and an observer facing the next piston, and finally, place a redstone torch over here, and an observer facing this final piston. The next step is to place four blocks over here, one, two, three, four, now place three blocks over here, and three over here. Then take a trident and throw it at this piston. Once you have done that, place a glass block over here and a slab at this spot. Now take a lever and place it down on this piston. Then flick it down once. The piston should move around a little bit. Then flick it down again. When you guys flick it again, the piston should start moving around infinitely. After you have done this, then shut it off. The next step is to place two blocks over here, glass block over here, and three blocks over here. Now fill in this little side area. By enclosing the trident killer like that, we will be able to prevent any zombie piglins from being able to glitch out. Next step is to come over here, face your trident killer, then dig down four blocks. One, two, three, four. The next step is to break three blocks this way. One, two, three, then break these blocks as well. Now place a hopper over here. The hopper should be placed in this exact spot and it should be flowing in that direction. The next step is to break these three blocks. One, two, three. Then come back here, turn this way, and break eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After doing that, break one block down over here. You guys are now going to want to break out this entire outline. This will allow you to create a room where you're going to make our item filter. Once you guys are done clearing the room, it should be looking something like this. The next step is to crouch down and place a rail on top of this hopper. Then place your minecart hopper on top. Then take some solid blocks, 
place one over here and one over here. Then place one over here. These solid blocks will enclose their minecart with hopper so they will never move. The next step is to come to this spot, then place down a double chest, then place it down another one, and another one. Now, come to this spot, crouch down, and place down a hopper that funnels towards each double chest. As you guys can see there, all of our hoppers are funneling towards our double chests. The next step is to break these four blocks, one, two, three, four, and I take some redstone torches and place three over here. These redstone torches should be directly behind those hoppers. The next step is to place three solid blocks on top. Now take some redstone comparators and place three over here. Make sure that the two prongs of our redstone comparators are facing towards these hoppers. The next step is to crouch down and place three hoppers that are funneling towards these redstone comparators. Make sure they funnel just like this. The next step is to come over here and place down a solid block. Then place a dispenser that faces downwards. Once you guys have created that, then come over here, crouch down, and place three hoppers that funnel towards the dispenser. The next step is to break these three blocks. Now, place three redstone repeaters over here. Make sure all the redstone repeaters are facing that way. Once you have done this, break these six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, place six blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then take some redstone and place 9 redstone just like this. This redstone will allow us to filter items through. The next step is to place a block over here, then place 2 blocks over here, now place 1 over here and 1 over here, then break the center block. Now place a lava bucket at this spot and quickly place down 2 blocks, then break this block. The next step is to place 3 blocks over here, 1, 2, 3, now place a block over here and a block behind, then break this block. Now, place a lever over here, redstone torch, redstone repeater facing that way, and a piece of redstone over here. This should create a redstone clock. Once you guys have created this redstone clock, put this lever down to shut it off. When this redstone clock is turned on, it will power the dispenser so that it will incinerate all the gold swords in the lava. The next step is to open this hopper, then place down 41 solid blocks in this slot. You guys can use any solid blocks you want. Then place a solid block in each of these three slots. Now, place a rotten flesh over here. Once you've done that hopper, come to this next one, then open it, and place 41 solid blocks over here, 3 more solid blocks over here. Now place down a gold ingot right at this spot. Now open this hopper, then place down 41 solid blocks over here, then place 3 blocks over here. Finally, place a gold nugget right at this spot. This will be the item sorter of this farm. How it works is, when zombie piglins are killed, their loot will get funneled through the micro hopper, then down into this hopper, then the loot will get sorted through the, all the hoppers because of the redstone system. All the gold nuggets will be funneled into this chest, all the gold ingots will be funneled into this chest, and all the round flash will be funneled over here. The gold swords will be funneled down to this last part, and when the redstone clock is turned on, all the gold swords will be incinerated. This will prevent gold swords from being able to clog our collection system. The next step is to come over here, then break blocks up all the way to the surface. Now, come back down and place ladders all along this wall. This will allow you to easily access the Trident Killer and Collection System of this farm. Once you guys are done creating this item sorter, I recommend you guys put some torches around the area just to prevent them off from spawning down here. You should also place a couple torches at this Trident Killer. I'm now going to show you all how to use this farm. To use it, first come down here to the item sorter. Once you're down here, flip this lever. That will start powering that dispenser so that it will be able to incinerate all the gold swords. Now, come up here and turn on your Trident Killer. Then, come up here, go to the switch, now flip this lever, that will cause the portal to start getting lit and broken, which will cause zombie pillings to start spawning, as you guys can see there. They will then get pushed down into the Trident Killer. From here, you guys should stand right at this spot, so that you'll be able to collect all the XP. As you guys can see there, the pillings will automatically get killed, then you'll be able to collect all their XP over here. All the loot will then get funneled down into the collection system. By the way, if you guys hold a Loon 3 sword, you'll be able to get more drops from this farm. This is because the Loon 3 effect will be applied to the Trident. When you guys want to collect your loot, all you have to do is come down here. Then, in this chest, there will be your gold nuggets. In this chest, there will be your gold ingots. And in this chest, there will be your rotten flesh. All the gold swords will get incinerated by that lava. If you guys want to turn the farm off, just flip this lever down. And as you guys can see there, it will get shut off. 
I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient automatic Minecraft Bedrock Golden XP farm. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for what I should do in future videos. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. I upload every other day. Thanks for watching.